Hey guys, what's going on? Bringing you a video on what everyone is talking about, the metaverse, and specifically how to invest and how you can get into projects and stocks and whatnot that are related to the metaverse. So we're gonna go through some stocks and then we're gonna go through some crypto projects. I'm gonna give them a bit of a risk score from one to 10, 10 being risky, one being some more safe. And you wanna stick around to the end. I'm gonna get into some smaller cap crypto projects and then I'm finally gonna share kind of how I filter and search and, and pull these up. So let's get right into it and take a look at all these. It's gonna be quick. So boom, first off, we're talking about the stock Facebook. They just changed their name to Meta Platforms Incorporated. And that's pretty huge, you know, Facebook changing their actual name, their ticker stays the same. Now we can see here in the last five days, they've definitely rallied up. But in the last day, there's been a little bit of a sell off as is expected when there's big news and it kind of ramps up and then, you know, everyone's attention fades away a little bit. However, regardless, Facebook is investing thousands of people into research and into the metaverse and into programming, bringing platforms, bringing NFTs, bringing all sorts of stuff towards augmented reality, virtual reality, all sorts of super futuristic things. You got to see the video Mark did. Um, it's a long video. It was about an hour and a half. Uh, maybe it was a little shorter than that, but there's some definitely some good recaps on YouTube. I'll link a recap and I'll link the full video in the description below so you can check it out and see what his futuristic visions are. And if that doesn't blow you away, you know, Facebook definitely has some very large potential um, as a long term speaking into virtual reality and the metaverse, especially with how much they're investing into it. So risk score of two for this stock and most of these stocks that I'm going to go over. I'm giving them a risk score of two and you know it's it's definitely something that is a bit of maybe of a longer term play it's not going to be a crazy mad 5 10 x right away like some of these crypto projects possibly could but it's a good one so next stock just another solid big stock I'm talking about google they're definitely looking into virtual reality. I don't know if you've noticed on Google Maps and on your phone, you can pull up that Google lens and you can scan your surroundings on a map or I mean outside and it will pull open, you know, what you're looking at or you can search by pictures and whatnot like that. So they're already incorporating some augmented reality and they're furthering their research into this. I don't think they're going to be someone left behind as big a company as they are. Solid score of two, solid company, can't go wrong definitely looking into the future of augmented reality virtual reality and tying into the metaverse boom another one sony a little bit different more tech related they're definitely very focused on tech tying into the metaverse and and their sensors and everything are going to be something that are going to play a large part they're definitely interested in investing as they're partnered with one of my favorite crypto projects, which we'll get on to later. And if you watched my last video, I'll link the card up here above, you'll know how awesome a project that is. Now, right now they're at a basically an all time high. So I wouldn't suggest getting into them at this point in time. I think there's going to be a dip. Possibly you can start to average in more on them, but definitely another great stock to look at. And for Sony, that last one, we're going to give it a risk score of three because it's just not as big of a behemoth as Facebook, nearly a one trillion market cap or Google, nearly a two trillion market cap. But this one is even a smaller one. This one's only a market cap of almost a billion. And this is just a little company that's very focused on AR and virtual reality. So possibly a larger return on investment into them. They're called Vuzix Corporation, ticker Vuzi. Do some, do some research into them, dive into them. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm giving them a worse score, a little higher, maybe a four or five. Um, but let me know what you think about them. Just uh, from what I saw in my initial research real briefly was that they're very focused on augmented reality, virtual reality, glasses and stuff like that. So they could definitely be tied to the metaverse and be a larger return. So there's a smaller one for stocks. Now let's get into the crypto projects. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe, eh? So first off, as we get into these crypto projects, a lot of these projects are 
ecosystems and you can buy into the token that the ecosystem is using or you can buy into an asset or an NFT that is on that platform. So I'm gonna break each of these down because a lot of them have assets or NFTs or are planning on launching NFTs or assets in the future. And in general, the assets or an NFT can be way riskier, but have a way larger return, especially if you kind of can get in on the first one, if you can mint the NFT. Um, I'll link a video up here for NFTs. But if you can get in on a mint of the NFT or snipe it real low on the secondary marketplace where someone doesn't know how much it's really worth and you get it, and then you can resell it for just crazy flips within a couple weeks as a project or a platform goes viral and brings lots of attention to it. Now the token in general will just kind of ramp up, you know, as as just general mass adoption to that platform goes. So that's why the, the token is almost is safer generally because it's the whole project. It encompasses all the NFTs, the good ones that fly up in value and, and the bad ones. Whereas the NFTs or the assets, they are risky because some of them can tank, right? And some of them go way up. There's different rarity scores and, and whatnot. So it's just a little bit more difficult to gauge. So each of these ecosystems kind of gets a different risk score for um, the assets compared to the tokens. And in general, it's, you know, I'd say two or three times, two or three points higher of a risk than, than having the token just in the way that I'm kind of going through these. So the first one, one of the biggest ones, it's got a market cap of $8 billion is the sandbox. Think of this kind of like Minecraft. And we all know how popular that got. So it's a metaverse very similar to Minecraft and it's ramped up huge, especially with these all this information and people looking up metaverse. It's it's definitely up pretty high and there's a good chance it's already starting to dip just recently here that there may be a nice little pullback from the die down of the hype to get into it. But there are, as I mentioned, there's many NFTs and assets and whatnot that you can buy into on OpenSea that are on Sandbox or you can just get into the sand token invest in the sand token you can do that on pancake swap you can get it on binance here as well and kucoin for their trading pairs next up right neck and neck with it in a certain sense or very close to it is decentraland it is a market cap of six and a half billion and the token is called mana and so you can invest in mana the token or you can invest into the assets and whatnot that are hosted on the platform itself and so you can go into OpenSea and look in the secondary marketplace on some of the nfts and assets listed on here as well definitely recommend doing more research into it these are two of the largest metaverse platforms that exist um, currently now if Facebook, like all the development they do, launch another platform, it could hurt these. It could compete with them. So that's some risk that you have to think about and look out for. Facebook is doing a lot of things under the scenes right now. So a potential risk, maybe hedge that with some investment into Facebook stock. Decentraland, Sandbox, and even maybe like Alluvium and whatnot, I would give them a risk score of eight out of 10 for the assets and NFTs, depending on what you get into, or six out of 10 for the token themselves just what I've been looking at. So engine is like a gaming platform. So there's different games launched on engine. So if you're investing in the different games or the different game tokens on the engine platform, it's in a way like investing in the assets on a metaverse. And then there's the actual engine token, which kind of helps run the bones of the machine of how the games are hosted in a certain sense. So investing in Inge can be a very spread out investment for all the games that are on its platform or you can go more specific into the specific games and if that game takes off then you can make a large return on that game so that's kind of how engines like and i kind of give it about the same maybe like a risk score of seven or eight on some of these games and five or six on the engine token itself now we're going to get into these have been some larger cap you know this is a almost a $3 billion market cap. I'm gonna jump into some small market cap coins and I'm just gonna run through them real quick, a brief description of what they are. I'm not gonna go too much detail. If you think they're kind of a neat project or idea, I highly suggest you do your own research on it as I'm not a financial advisor. So then I'm gonna show you how you can sort on coin market cap and kind of pull some of these up. 
So let's take a quick look through some of these. So here's one that's super low. It's market rank of 4,629, a fully diluted market cap of only 12 million. So this thing's a little bitty baby. And what does it do? It's kind of an interesting idea and it's recently ramped up a bunch because it's kind of tied in a certain sense to metaverse and um, it's actually a cyber security. You're democratizing, I don't know if I said that right, transparency through the power of crowdsourcing. So it's to help people work together decentralized to do investigative missions and whatnot, you know, to actually find criminals, I guess, I guess you could say, and there's all sorts of stuff with, you know, how they're set up. It's not a bad idea. And I don't see any other really big competition for it. So it's something that's maybe not a bad crypto project. Now this one taboo token, uh, this was talked about by Connor on YouTube as well. And it's in the adult industry. And I don't definitely really support this industry much at all it's a rank of 239 it's recently been ramping up it's gonna have nfts related to it that'll give the holder certain benefits and i'm not even going to the website but this what did i say sex sells i mean there's a potential that you know this coin could definitely ramp up but do your own research into it i'm just hinting at you what it's about and i'm going on to the next one uh jade currency so this one is only a market cap fully diluted of 13 million, very, very small. And it's specific to being a community related to the metaverse in which you'll be able to buy and sell precious stones, but you'll be able to see them in the metaverse. So it's like a shopping metaverse platform that will allow you to then find merchants and whatnot of actual jade stones and rare stones and whatnot. Um, interesting idea different relating in pulling in real stone value real marketplace value to try and sell on the marketplace we're going to see more i think businesses do this type of thing create digital representatives of physical goods in order to sell in the metaverse where people will maybe one day instead of going to the shopping mall they'll be on their couch put their vr on and then walk through the shopping mall in virtual reality picking what they want to order trying it on on their avatar and then having it shipped to their house that's totally a possibility crazy mind-blowing but this is just specific to jade stones small market cap but like i said small market cap big possible potential these projects all these last three projects with 12 or 13 million market cap i give these definitely a score of probably like a nine if you're getting into the actual assets on them like a, a metaversal stone or or whatnot and if you're just getting into the token support in the project like jade or whatever like at least at eight i would say you know so like definitely high risk now here's an interesting one that's had a huge ramp up in the last seven days if we look at the last seven days they're up like they've just been going up like a roller coaster you know um volume's been soaring last 24 hours up 200 percent so they're really ramping up and what do they do and they're ranked 296 deal they're seek vr so what they're all really about is d5 for music artists sports and content creators and they've actually got some decent partnerships and some pretty big names the biggest thing is with universal music granting rights to live performances with top tier artists including bon jovi lady gaga u2 sting ziggy marley and more i went to a bon jovi concert in memphis and it was pretty friggin sweet it was a good time um anyway and they even have their own vr headset currently sold at major retailers nationwide so they're uh, they're looking pretty good partnership wise and everything but they're very low market cap they're very metaverse central and due to that that is why they have really ramped up here recently now if that means maybe we'll see a little bit of a pullback because they ramped up so fast recently you know we really see you know when these projects take off super fast a lot of time is a pullback and time to get back in 
However, averaging in, dollar cost averaging in, I can't recommend that more because then it kind of gives you the best of both. I mean, if it just keeps going up, at least you kind of start to got into it. And if it dove back down, then at least you didn't put all your money into it. So you still have some more money to invest. So smart way to do it, but another neat project. Finally, last one in the video I covered last on my channel, MetaHero. It's already up to almost 15 cents. It's had a pretty big ramp up right from the last time I dropped that video when it was shy of 10 cents. So that's, you know, why um, definitely it's a good idea to subscribe, like, because this is what I kind of do. I like to pick up these projects that have good potential and have good fundamentals. And then a lot of time, you know, they see a, a decent rise. Now, this one is definitely possible. Maybe it'll pull back a little bit, but Meta Hero's got some really great partnerships with Sony and really just bullish on them in general. Check out that last video if you want to see more about them. There was an interview recently done. I think that's a good portion of possibly why they've ramped up. Also, they were just listed on KuCoin, which is a major listing, their first major listing for them. Another huge reason probably why for their increase. So those are just a bunch of smaller projects, you know, but this one, this one's 1.4 billion. It's a little bit bigger. But, uh, and Meta Hero, let's give them a score ranking of, I don't know, six. Now, safer score ranking crypto wise, all of these projects, not all of these, a lot of these projects are on the Ethereum blockchain. Just investing into Ethereum itself is definitely a great plan in general, too, because Ethereum is the main blockchain that hosts a lot of these other projects and ecosystems so when they do well in general ethereum is going to be doing well so and we were seeing some pretty I mean, ethereum is running up quite a bit right now it's been hitting some all-time highs and everything so ethereum i give it a safety score maybe of something like a three or four maybe a four um so there you go now how do i find some of these tiny projects like got them 12 million market cap and whatnot and what's a maybe a possible strategy. So what you can do is you can go into coin market cap and you can go into the filters and I've filtered for metaverse because that's just the biggest thing going on right now. Mark Zuckerberg changing the Facebook to meta. Everyone's curious and seeing that video about what other applications are there in the metaverse. Coin market cap is huge. Hosts a lot of different projects and coins and whatnot. So you can go in there, filter metaverse, but then go to industry. <clears throat> And you can start to click certain ones, like what I did as I click cybersecurity, right? And when I sorted by cybersecurity or filtered by cybersecurity, there was only one. And so what does that mean? It means, well, there's a possibility that there's not really much competition for them right now. And if no one else is doing anything similar with their project or competing with them, there's not as much holding them back to do well. So that's one way to look at it. Um, and so it's just not a bad way to kind of compare similar projects. So if we find another one that has some other competition, so VR, AR, you can see now there's multiple projects and they're ranking and everything and you can see the percent returns. So you can kind of see some of the competition like that one Creek VR we looked at last seven days up 825%. That's awesome. <laughs> and you know, they're focused, like I said, in that augmented reality with digital artists and whatnot. So that's great. And then we can see Meta Hero down here doing the 3D scanning. Um, so a lot of these, they have some of their own unique personalities or traits on them, but it's just an interesting way to filter through. Anyways, guys, that's all. I just wanted to get through some of those real quick. I hope some of them were neat. Hope you had some takeaways. Drop questions in the comments, thoughts in the comments, anything you want and uh, or what you want me to cover more. And uh, we'll go from there. Peace.